Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. I'm excited to be back with you guys today. We have a really busy day with a lot of things to do, and I think you'll find them enjoyable. Today's Zooms are going to be at 10 o'clock with me, 2 o'clock Spanish, and 2.30 library. There's a new Zoom schedule this week. It is a B week, so be sure to look for this heading where it says Zoom Sessions for Three Mangan, week of June 8th, B week. Make sure you're looking at that specific document in your social studies folder. Just a note, we're not Zooming Wednesday as a class because you have a virtual field day planned. So it have lots of fun activities planned for you guys to get outside, get active, and enjoy the end of the school year. So the district will be emailing your families with the activities available for that day. For reading today, it is Monday, so you're going to read your Agreed Upon Book Club amount. Check your Padlet to find out your plan that you made last week. And please email me if you need a new Padlet to be cleared for your group. This is extremely important. As the last few weeks, I find that we have been kind of just doing one little jot or maybe just saying the name of the book. That's not a jot, third graders. Your post should reflect at least 10 minutes of thinking to receive your excellent participation credit. You should be completing every column if possible. But what that does not mean is that you just copy what someone above you said. So if someone already said the setting or if someone already said the problem, you don't need to repeat it to do good work. What you should be doing is either agreeing or disagreeing with them and providing more text evidence in your thinking. So this should be a focus for today on how to elevate your thinking and putting a little more effort into this. For writing today, you are so close to publishing, but you have one final step. It's edits and revisions. So please make sure that you are watching Miss Boyer's very important lesson today, as well as this video, Imaginative Narrative Part 7. And in your writing folders, you will find this um, slides called Imaginative Narrative Number 10. It's our 10th lesson in this unit. You will find the revision and editing checklists for narrative. Now I'm going to make it nice and big for you. Your job today is to be thinking about all of the elements of your piece to be typed up in either your digital notebook or a Google Doc. Everybody should have that because that was what we did last week. Now, everybody now should be revising and editing using this checklist to help themselves. So after you do your edits and revisions today, you're going to look at this and you're thinking, how is my lead? Am I having a good one? Is, am I not yet writing a lead? Am I starting to write a good lead? Or yes, I have a great lead. Every time you're saying not yet, you have to go back and make some revisions. Starting to, or yes, that's what we're looking for. So whether you print this out and show me somewhere on slides or seesaw, or if you copy and paste this into your e-learning slideshow, or if you write directly on those slides, it's in your folder so you can do that. Just make sure you let me know where you've put this writing checklist. I'm really going to be looking for this today because in order to move on to writing your script for your Adobe Spark video, all of this needs to be complete. You've done a great job writing your fantasy. This is just the final step. For today, you have angles for math. You're going to need to collect a few items before you get going, so read that list. You're going to watch Miss Luciano's lesson video, and you're going to fill out pages 151 and 152 in your math workbook. Now, you actually have your math workbook now, so if you want to, just go ahead and do it in the math workbook. What's easier than that? Just take a picture, put it on Seesaw. Just make sure that you get really, really close so that we can see all the answers. Make sure that that is something you concentrate on because sometimes when we take pictures and put it on Seesaw, it's really hard for me to see what numbers you've got. So just get nice and close. Or if you want to keep doing what we've normally done, copy and paste into your slideshow or print it. It's up to you. But you now have your workbook at home, which is nice. So they're also going to com com be completing a seesaw activity where you're going to go on a right angle, acute angle, and obtuse angle scavenger hunt. So watch Miss Luciano's lesson about that and complete that activity in Seesaw. You're going to be traveling to Brooklyn today, so watch the Brooklyn introduction video and then check out these two additional resources. In order to complete the Seesaw activity today that says Brooklyn, what did you learn? It's going to be the same thing about what did you learn, what surprised you, and what questions do you have. In order to complete that, you will have to go to our additional resources. I know some of my friends think these are kind of like extra. No, this is what we have to do today. We're, this is our learning today. So you're going to go to the Epic collection that was assigned to you and check out some of these fun books and videos. And then also you're going to be going to this blog post about 10 facts about Brooklyn. So 
And then you'll hop on over to Seesaw and answer what you learned today. So by the end of the day, you're going to read and really do a great job on your Padlet posts. For writing today, you're going to watch all the videos and fill out that checklist. For math, you're going to watch the lesson, complete the workbook pages, and complete the Seesaw activity. And for social studies, you're going to learn all about Brooklyn through the tutorial, the epic collection, and the blog post. And then you're going to complete the Seesaw activity. So use this as a checklist for yourself for all the activities today. And I'll see you at 10. If you have any questions before that, go ahead and go on the Padlet or email me. Good luck, third graders. See you then.